Toxic people suck. You suck. They are exhausting to deal with, they are manipulative, and they are impossible to please. While toxic behaviors can be subtle, you're watching this because your intuition is warning you that something about a particular person just doesn't feel right. Let me give you an example. You approach a person to discuss something that concerns you, and all of a sudden you find yourself discussing and arguing something completely unrelated. You're feeling stressed, anxious, and confused, and no matter what you do, you're unable to get your concerns addressed without getting dragged into a tornado of chaos, lies, manipulation, and projection. You find yourself questioning your reality, asking yourself if maybe you are too sensitive, if maybe you do overreact a little. Does this sound familiar to you? Let me know in the comments below. Hello, hi, my name is Charlene Lizette. I'm an empowerment coach and spiritual teacher, and today I'm going to help you to reclaim your power when dealing with a toxic person. If you like this type of content, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you become a part of our community. The first rule of thumb when dealing with a toxic person is to cut them out completely from your life. Cut them out. Control Alt Delete. Goodbye. However, that's not always possible because sometimes a toxic person could be somebody within your family. It could be somebody that you work with, like a coworker or a boss. It could be somebody that you have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, like a neighbor, or it could even be somebody that you live with, like a roommate or your romantic life partner. So when you can't completely cut off a toxic person from your life, the next best thing to do is to learn how to manage and handle them. You might not be able to change how a toxic person behaves, but you can change how you deal with them. You will first need to understand that a toxic person will never change. The only way a toxic person could ever change is if they practice enough self-awareness and consciousness to recognize that their toxic behaviors are negatively impacting the relationships that they are having with other people. Most people like you and I acknowledge that the trauma and wounds we leave unhealed in our lives cause turmoil, difficulties, and challenges. Toxic people, however, choose to venture down a different path full of lies, manipulation, projections, and deflections. And there is absolutely nothing you can do to change the life that they are choosing to live. Stop trying to help them, stop trying to change them, and stop trying to save them. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm looking at you. I see you. You know who you are. Rather than trying to change a toxic person, you need to empower yourself to learn how to manage and handle them. So how do you do this, you ask? Well, first things first, you learn not to react to their behaviors. You learn to respond. So if you find yourself continuously triggered by toxic people, it's really important for you to take a step back, reclaim that power before continuing to engage with them. If you are already aware that a person is toxic, do not trust them. Do not trust them. No matter how many times they tell you they'll change, no matter how many times they'll tell you it's a mistake. The land of make-believe no matter how many times they tell you that they will never do it again. When a person shows you their true colors, believe them. When a toxic person shows you their true colors, this is probably one of the only times that they are not lying to you. Don't get sucked into their drama also known as their false reality. They will try and drag you into arguments. They will use you as part of triangulation tactics. They will do all of this simply to distract you from the real issues at hand. Don't waste your time trying to beat them at their own game. Simply don't play. Detach, starve them from the attention that they seek. Without your time and without your energy, they have nothing and they are nothing. So how do you do that? As they gaslight you, as they falsely accuse you of things, as they try and do absolutely anything to elicit a negative response from you, you as the empowered goddess that you are will create boundaries by diffusing their desire for conflict and using limited, unemotional, assertive communication techniques. You will limit your contact with them and communicate with them via email whenever possible. You will have exit plans in place when you have no choice but to engage with them face to face. Practice using the following statements so that you can be prepared the next time you have to engage with them. You can write these down as well. I will not participate in your desire for conflict. I do not have time to engage in this conversation. I'm not interested in discussing this with you. We have reached an impasse of opinion. I'm not interested in moving this conversation forward. And my favorite, no. Followed by you walking away and enjoying the rest of your day while preserving your peace, your happiness, your joy, and your energy. Always remember their toxic behavior is not your fault. No matter how many times they try and blame you, no matter how many times they try and project, 
Do not take their behaviors personally. And above all else, love yourself enough to stay calm, remain unfazed, and create a support system of trusted friends, loved ones, a coach, and or a therapist to help you along the way. If you wanna work with me, take a look at the description box below. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you for stopping by. I hope that this video was helpful for you. We'll see you on the next one, goddess. See you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.